Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail several Compton gangs. In my previous episodes, I detailed the east side and the west side of South Central. Now we're taking it to Compton. Compton was named after a man named Griffith Compton, who led a group of 30 people to the area in 1867. While Compton would eventually be a home to a large black population, in 1930, there was only one black resident living there. But with many black residents being able to move to new areas after a law in Los Angeles being passed in 1948, allowing African Americans to move to new areas, Compton would be a major destination. In the 1950s, middle class black families began to move into the area, mostly on the west side. Compton grew quickly throughout the decade. One reason for this was that Compton was so close to Watts, which there was already a black population established there. For many years, Compton was a much sought after suburb for the black middle class of Los Angeles. Moving to Compton was like moving on up for the black community. Moving there, it was a bunch of single family homes and a great place to live at the time. However, several factors contributed to Compton's gradual decline. One of the most significant factors was the steady rise of the tax base, something that was already sparse due to limited commercial properties. By the end of the 60s, many middle class white people would flee from Compton and would go to cities like Artesia, Bellflower, Cerritos, Paramount, and Norwalk. By the early 1970s, Compton had one of the largest populations of African Americans in the country, sitting at 65%. But by the 70s, Compton gang problem would start. Several Crip gangs would start, and also several Pau Rouge and Serrano gangs, and they would take over the city. Crips and the Pau Rouge would have different branches and sets pop up all over Compton, making Compton one of the most dangerous cities to live in, with non-stop violence from shootings and the rise of the drug trade. By the late 80s and the early 90s, the rise of rap would get a world of looking to the deadly streets of Compton, with groups like N.W.A., Compton Most Wanted, and rappers like DJ Quick, and several others. Bringing up Compton, you will also have to bring up Suge Knight, who was Death Row Records CEO and also affiliated with the Pa Roos. In this episode, I will be detailing the Crip and Pa Roos sets in Compton, but also in surrounding areas like Willowbrook and Linwood, and a few other areas which these other cities' gangs are in Compton politics. The first gang I'ma mention is the Village Town Parus. The Village Town Parus' main area was the Ujima Housing Projects, which Ujima means collective work and responsibility in Swahili. In November of 2008, County Housing Authority closed Ujima Village and began relocating residents after tests showed potential dangerous soil and water contamination. 16-acre complex being too deadly, it was officially closed by 2013. The village town Parus are allies of several gangs, like the Athens Park Bloods, the Miller Gangster Bloods, the Westside Parus, and the Campanella Park Parus. They're rivals to nearby Crip gangs like Carver Park and the Mona Park Crips. The Westside Parus are a Paru gang located on the west side of Compton. They are one of the first Parus sets, with some people saying they are the first. They are aligned to other Paru sets like Campanella Park, One Trade Five Paru, Cedar Block, and several others. The Westside Parus are rivals to gangs like Track New Park, Carver Park, and the Front Hood Compton Crips. Rappers rapping that area would be people like Hitter J3, and also Kendrick Lamar is also affiliated with this area. Now the one Trey Five Parus is a hood in Rosewood, which is outside of Compton. Their main rivals would be the Payback Crips, the T-Zone Compton Crips, and the Carver Parks. The one Trey Fives are allies of gangs like the Westside Parus, the Village Town Parus, and the Campanella Parks, among others. Campanella Park Parus get their name from Roy Campanella Park in their hood, which is named after a baseball player. The Campanella Parks are allies to several Paru gangs, like the Westside Parus, Cedar Block, and the others I mentioned. Rivals of the Campanellas include the Track New Parks, the Swamp Crips, the T-Zone Crips, and the Lantana Block Crips. Rappers repping that set will be rappers like YS, who's been putting on for the Campanellas for a few years. 145 Neighborhood Parus, not to be confused with the Neighborhood Parus in Inglewood, are a Compton gang that are allies to gangs like Cedar Block, Westside Paru, Village Town, and rivals to hoods like Palmer Block Compton Crips, the Swamp Compton Crips, and the Track New Park Compton Crips. Cedar Block Parus are a Paru gang on the west side of Compton. They're known for rappers like the gang, being from that hood, and often bringing them up. The Cedar Blocks are rivals to hoods like Front Hood Compton Crip, the Parma Blocks, and they are allies to all the Parus I mentioned before. Now the 151 Parus have a strong alliance with the 145 Parus, and as well as Cedar Block Paru, 
and their rivals include the T-Zone Compton Crips, the Parma Black Compton Crips, the Nutty Black Compton Crips, and the Lantana Black Compton Crips. The Treetop Pyrus are one of the most known Pyrus sets with rap legends like DJ Quick and newer generation rappers like Slim 400 who is now deceased and also rapper YG. The Treetops beat for several gangs like the Parma Blocks, the Front Hoods, the Pocket Hood Compton Crips, but even though they're Pyrus, one of their top rivals will be the Fruit Town Pyrus, who they were once allies with. The Fruit Town Pyrus get their name from many streets in their hood, being named after fruits. Rappers like Compton Menace and FT Hopout come from this area. One of their main rivals is the set I mentioned before, fellow Pyru, the Treetops. But they're also rival to Crip gangs like Front Hood, Carver Park, Pocket Hood, and several others. Now let's get into some of the Crips. The Carver Parks. They're a Compton Crip gang who get their name from George Washington Carver Park. They're rivals to gangs like the Campanella Park Parus, the Fruit Town Parus, the Westside Parus, and Crips like Pocket Hood, and they're allies of gangs like the Mona Park Compton Crips. Mona Park Compton Crips are named after a park in their hood called Mona Park. This is also the area that deceased rapper Coolio comes from. The Mona Parks are allies of gangs like the Six Hood Compton Crips, the Carver Park Compton Crips, but rivals to other Crip gangs like the PJ Watts Crips, the Fruit Town Pyrus and the West Side Pyrus. Six Hood Compton Crips are a small gang and are allies of gangs like Mona Park and the Carver Parks. Most of their rivals are Pyrus like Fruit Town and West Side Pyru. The Pocket Hood Compton Crips, also known as the Corner Pockets, been around since the 70s and are allies of gangs like the Santana Block Compton Crips and the Anzac Great Compton Crips. Their rivals to gangs like the Front Hood Compton Crips and also the Carver Parks, the Mona Parks, the Park Village Compton Crips, and also the Southside Compton Crips. The Front Hoods are rivals to gangs like the West Side Pyrus, the Fruit Town Pyrus, Cedar Block, and Pocket Hood. And Zach Grapes are a small gang that are named after cross streets with those same names. Their main rivals include gangs like the Carver Parks, the Mona Parks, the Front Hood Compton Crips, and several Pyrus, like Treetops, and their main allies are gangs like Santana Block and Pocket Hood. Palmer blocks are named after a street in Compton called Palmer. The Palmer blocks are cool with gangs like the Santana blocks, Pocket Hood, Anzac Grape, and Track New Park. The Palmer blocks are rivals to gangs like the Fruit Town Pyrus, the Cedar Block Pyrus, the West Side Pyrus, and other Pyru sets that I mentioned before. But they're also rivals to Crip gangs like the Nutty Blocks, the South Side, and Park Village Compton Crips, and also gangs in the ATF Alliance. Twilight Zone Crips, also known as the T-Zone Crips, are rivals to several Pyru sets like 151, 135, Capanella Park, and several other nearby Pyrus are in close proximity. Their original Swamps Compton Crips have been around for over 40 years. They're on good terms with gangs like the Nutty Blocks, but are rivals to several gangs like the Campanella Park Pyrus, the 145, and the 151 Pyrus, as well as Crips like the T-Zones, the Track New Park, and the Lantana Block Compton Crips. Track New Park Compton Crips, name come from a park with the same name. They became known nationwide with rappers like MC8, putting on for them in the 90s. Their rivals include gangs like the Campanella Parks, the West Side Pyrus, and several other Pyrus. Their rivals to Crip gangs like the Nutty Blocks. The Lantana Block Crips are a gang that have been around for years. They often get confused with the Santana Block Crips because of their similar names, plus them being on good terms. They're also on good terms with games like the Anzac Grapes, the Track New Park, and several others. But they're rivals to the Nutty Blocks and several Pyru games like 151, 145, Campanella, and Westside Pyru. This is also the area that rapper and podcaster AD comes from. The Nutty Blocks are one of the most known Crip games in Compton and have been around since the 70s. Their area used to be a hangout for many early Crips. This area is known for rappers like BG Knockout and Drayston, and of recently, Geechee Gotti. The Nutty Blocks are allies to gangs like the Southside Compton Crips, the Park Village, and the Atlantic Drive Compton Crips. Their rivals include gangs in the ATF Alliance, Lantana Block, Pocket Hood, Santana Block, Track New Park, and Zag Grape, and several others. The Park Village Compton Crips are also a well-known set, having many high-profile members and rappers like Roddy Rich repping that area. The Park Village Crips are known for being in the Wilmington Orange Housing Project, and the Park Village are allies of gangs like the Atlantic Drives, the Southside Compton Crips, and the Nutty Blocks. 
but their arrival was of several power rules, like Cedar Block, among many others. Their crypt rivals include gangs like the Pocket Hood, the Anzac Grapes, the Santana Blocks, and several others. This area is also known for having a large number of Samoans, and them also having their own bees, with gangs like SOS and several Piru gangs in Carson. Now the ATF Alliance includes gangs like Acacia Block, Farm Dog, and Spoo Town. Their rivals are several gangs like Nutty Block, Santana Block, Pocket Hood, Anzac Grape, and several others, many of them being Piru's as well. Linwood neighborhood crypts are a gang in Linwood, but are in Compton politics. They have a lot of Compton rivals, and their main rivals are the Pomino Gangster Crips, as well as the Mob Pyrus, the Cross Atlantic Pyrus, and several others. The Pomino Gangster Crips are also from Linwood and get their name from cross streets called Oak and Palm. Their rivals include the Linwood Neighborhood Crips, the Neighborhood Compton Crips, the Mob Pyrus, and the Cross Atlantics. The Santana Blocks are a large Crip gang from the east side of Compton and have been around since the 70s. They had major Crips come from that area like Bullet, Turtle, and Baby Gangster. The Santana Blocks are allies of gangs like Pocket Hood, Anzac Grape, and a few others. But they're rivals of several gangs like the Southside Compton Crips, the Park Village Compton Crips, the Nutty Blocks, the Front Hoods, and also Pry Rules like the Treetops, Mob Pry Rules, and several others. The Mob Pie Rules is the area that record label CEO Suge Knight was affiliated with, making this gang rich and powerful in the 90s. They would go to war with several Crips and also fellow Pie Rules like Ludus Park, who they once had a close relationship with. The Mob Pie Rules are rivals of gangs like Santana Block, Neighborhood Compton Crip, Palmin Oak, Southside Compton Crips, and several others. The Cross Atlantics are a Pie Rule gang on the east side of Compton. They are rivals to gangs like the Ward Lane Crips, the Linwood Neighborhood Crips, the Santana Blocks, the Southside Compton Crips, and the Atlantic Dry Compton Crips. Now the Elm Street Pyrus are a gang on the east side of Compton. They mainly beef with a lot of Crip gangs, some being Santana Block, Pomino Gangster Crips, the Kelly Park Compton Crips, the Southside Compton Crips, and the Ward Lanes. The Luda Park Pyrus are one of the oldest Pyru gangs on the east side of Compton. They are clicked up with the Cross Atlantics and are currently engaged in a violent war with the Mob Pyrus, who they once were allies with. They are rivals to Crip gangs like Kelly Park, Santana Block, Ducky Hood, Neighborhood Compton Crips, and several more. The Lime Hoods are a hood named after a street in their hood called Lime. They beef with hoods like the Ward Lane Crips, the Southside Compton Crips, the Santana Blocks, Ducky Hood, and several others. The Southside Compton Crips are one of the most notorious gangs in Compton and are most known for being the gang that killed Tupac. The Southside beef with Pie Rules like Mob Pie Rule, Lime Hood, Ludus Park, and they also beef with Crips like Parma Block, Pocket Hood, Kelly Park, Neighborhood Compton Crips, and they're also allies of gangs like the Atlantic Drives, Nutty Block, and Park Village. The War of Lanes are a gang on the east side of Compton and are rivals to gangs like the Santana Block Compton Crips, the Pocket Hood Compton Crips, the Lime Hood Pyrus, the Hollywood Pyrus, the Mob Pyrus, the Cross Atlantic, and the Luther Park Pyrus. The Hollywood Pyrus get their name from a street in their hood called Holly. Uh, recently, they got rappers like Snoopy Badass who've been repping their area for a while. The Hollyhoods are rivals to gangs like the Kelly Parks, the Ward Lanes, the Neighborhood Cop the Crips, the Atlantic Drives, and several others. Ducky Hood Compton Crips are a small gang, but been known to be for several Piru gangs, like Ma Piru, Ludus Park, Lime Hood, Hollywood Piru, and Cross Atlantic Piru. Neighborhood Compton Crips are allies to gangs like Santana Block and Pocket Hood. Their rivals include gangs like the Southside Compton Crips, the Atlantic Drives, the Nutty Blocks, the Lime Hood Piru's, the Ma Piru's, and several others. This is the area that Little Easy E comes from. The Kelly Parks are a gang on the east side. They gained fame in the late 80s and the early 90s after being affiliated with NWA rappers Easy E and MC Ran. This hood beats with gangs like the Atlantic Drives, the Nutty Blocks, the Southside Compton Crips. They also beef with Piru hoods like Looters Park and Hollywood. And lastly, the Atlantic Drive Compton Crips. They're closely aligned to the Southside Compton Crips and are on good terms with gangs like Nutty Block and Park Village. This is the area that rapper Compton TG comes from. 
this was a profile of some Compton Crip games and some Piru games. Let me know what you want to see next. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.